How old are you, first of all? I'm 28. Okay, 28 years old. How did you get all of the success, become an entrepreneur at such a young age? Oh, um, I think lessons. Uh, I started off early trying to do my own thing. You know, I worked uh, as a kid. I worked at McDonald's when I was 14. I worked uh, at Finish Line. I worked at Chuck E. Cheese. I was the guy in the Chuck E. Suit. Oh, wow. So, like, uh, you uh, like everybody else. LA, like, you really LA. started from the bottom. Yeah, some people really don't think I, I did all those things. But, like, I, I got my fair share of working up until I was 20 years old. So, I decided to quit both of my jobs. I was working at the time. I was a lifeguard in the daytime. I did ballet at night. And I was going to school. Dropped out of school. Quit both of my jobs in one day. And it's like, you know what? I'm going to start getting all bets on me, you know? So, wow. that's what I did. And, um... You know, I went through a lot of trial and error, though. Like, I was, mm-hmm. you know, I started off early trying to sell chips and candies in school, cutting grass, everything. So, uh, that right there was a little entrepreneur and that was taught me a lot. And yeah. from there, uh, you know, I gained the experience. To, and I, I also gained the, the, what's the word for it? Just the, the faith, you okay. know, to, to, to really just, like, just jump out there, you know, jump exactly. off that cliff, you know. Exactly. So now, what would you say is your predominant way of making money? What do you do every day specifically, or what have you really like polished yourself in? I, I would say, I mean, of course, I do my events, but okay. you know, like I was saying up there, you know, you make your your fast money. Like uh, a bank's not going to finance a person who, who's producing events because it's not like a, it's 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 not like a, where they can see all your. You know, you can pay your taxes, you can show what you're making, but it's easy when I have a restaurant and I, and I show, like, all right, this is what I'm, my sales every day. They know I can afford to do, uh, to, to, to get this loan if I want to get a loan. Yep. Um, but I also have a lot more properties. The fast money I make, I put into a property, which is more, um, you know, it, it's like, like it's wealth, you know. It, mm-hmm. It's not something, an overnight thing. You know, it takes time. If you want to renovate and make a flip, you know, it takes sometimes four to six months if you're going to, uh, you know, it's just harder, harder to put your money out. So. so what would you suggest to people? Because you sound like you're very self-disciplined with being able to get money and say, okay, this money is going towards this so that I can create more money. How did you build that self-discipline at such a young age? And what advice can you give to others that get, can't hold on to money? I mean, I think it's, it's uh, I don't know, I think it's just, um, you know, having a lot of things going on in order to do it, you know, funding things on my own. Got to produce this event, but I'll. I got. I'm renovating this house. It's like I just got to go hard, you know. I just got to grind hard to make sure that, because I often put a lot on my shoulders. And but that, that personally myself, that's what helps me, uh, you know, make sure I get it all done. You know, when I gotta fund this, fund this, fund that, it's just like it, it makes me go a lot harder. And uh, I think in order to be successful, you gotta create some type of schedule and discipline for yourself because you've been in the industry that I'm in, doing events, uh, you know, staying out to four or five in the morning. I can't afford to wake up at 1 o'clock. You know, I'm going to wake up at 8 o'clock. If I get in at 5, I'm going to wake up at 8 or 9 o'clock. You know, wow. so, so I don't sleep in late because um, I can't afford to. When I, when I say I can't afford to, like, I can kick my feet up inside and chill for the rest of the year, but yeah. I'm not. You know, I'm yeah. not where, I'm, where I want to be, so why would I waste time laying in my bed? Yeah. Um, but, I mean, I, I would definitely say discipline yourself and, um, it's still hard, you know, you gotta, you gotta really just focus and lock in. Mm-hmm. So can you tell me a little bit more about your restaurant? Because I'm from Chicago, so I know, you know, a lot of people, we probably haven't really heard of it much. So can you tell us a little bit more about, like, the restaurant that you have and how does that incorporate with what you're doing in real estate? Um, the restaurant, it's, mm-hmm. it's, it's like, you know, that Southern comfort. It's, it's uh, you know, Creole cuisine, Korean. My family from Korea, so we have a few Korean dishes. Got the, the seafood, the oysters, the pastas, the shrimp po' boys, the whole nine. And um, I think that relates to, you know, what I do in, you say, real estate? Mm-hmm. How does it relate in real estate? I mean, I just think it, it, it's just diversifying who I am, like diversifying my portfolio because just say if the market crashes and people don't go out as much, all right, cool. We know people got to eat, but they may not go to restaurants as much. Uh, but then I got the houses. So it just keeps me well-rounded to where, uh, you know, I, I'm not just so relying on this one industry to mm-hmm. feed myself and my family, you know? Do you think that it's possible for people to have more than one path that they're interested in making money at one time? Yeah, but I think you got to focus on that one, get that one going, like locking on that one, get it running, and then try to uh, look into other possibilities. Is there anything that I didn't ask that you just think people should know in general? Um, 
I mean, I just think, you know, you got to all bets on you. You know, that's the, that's the title of my you book. You can tell them. All bets on you. That's the title of my book. So that's what I live by. That's like, that's me. Uh, all bets on me. Well, my book is called All Bets on Me. But it's all bets on you. You got to really just uh, gamble on yourself and start investing into your dreams. Because I heard this quote one time. They say, if you want uh, you need to build your dreams today or Someone help somebody else. build theirs tomorrow. Yes, I've we heard that. Option. So you got to really put your best foot forward, pray on it work hard and just you know just grind just make it happen, make it happen.